Good morning, friends. So let's cover the table of contents that we will be covering in this tutorial series on Apache Spark for Java developers. So I have divided this whole course into four modules or four parts, you can say. The first part would be covering the Spark RDD and part two would be covering Spark SQL. Part three would be Spark Streaming, where you would be using Apache Kafka as our streaming API to pass and use Apache Spark to, uh, to do that. And part four as Spark ML, which is for machine learning. So for the first part, which is Spark uh, RDD. So there are several topics that we'll be covering, starting with the very first, the big picture. The big picture means that we are covering the theoretical part uh, about the whole big data architecture, what is Apache Spark, where it comes into picture and what is uh, what is it is going to replace like Hadoop and Map Reduce and all. What is a distributed system, local system, cluster mode overview and all. And after that, covering this theory part about the high level design or what the idea behind Apache Spark RDD, then we will dive into the hands-on coding where we will first of all install Spark and set up our IntelliJ project so that we can write the unit test cases uh, to understand all these topics in a very detailed way. Then we'll write our first program in Spark RDD. And then ch chapter four and five would be covering that how to create an RDD using parallelized methods and using external data sets. Chapter six would be covering like, uh, the most important actions that uh, that is the map reduce, fold and aggregate, we call this RDD actions. Chapter seven will cover transformations like map, flat map, filter, etc. Then we'll cover how to print the elements because it's a big data, right? Uh, and there should be some way that how to how is the best way to print the elements of an RDD. Then we'll cover other data structures like tuples, pair RDDs, etc., which are included in Spark RDD only. So tuples and pair RDDs this is something which is not actually in Java because uh, uh, it's only live in, available in Spark RDD because Spark itself is written in Scala. Then we will have our very first, uh, after covering all these topics, then we will have our first exercise to have a unique word count, which is, I think, uh, considered as the Hello Word programming for Apache Spark. So this will cover after we learn all these like basic topics. And then we will move on to other advanced topics like uh, repartition and coalesce, joins, uh, because we can use the RDD, uh, the same like SQL joins, it, it also supports joins in Spark RDD, inner join, auto join and all. And then we'll learn about chapter 14, we'll learn about the shuffles operation, that uh, how internally the data has been sh shuffled for some of the operations that we do. And then we will move to persistence level, that how, what's the pers what is the persistence, because this is the most important part that how uh, how how Spark RDD, how Spark itself is like faster than the previous map reduce and how it's persist the data. And then we will cover the other advanced concepts like what is a closure, what is a shared variable, how this uh, the variables are like being sent from the driver node to the to the slave nodes and how it is all being broadcasted and all. Then we will cover more exercises and solutions because I think this is the best way to understand or like test our knowledge that what we have done so far. And then finally, we will cover these topics on like, how to submit the application to the cloud environment, like using Databricks or, and uh, AWS EMR, which is Elastic Map Reduce. And before we do the final chapter on tuning the Spark, tuning Spark RDD, we will learn uh, a serialization technique which is used other than Java, which is like the cryo serialization. This cryo serialization is advanced and better than 10, it, is, it said that it is 10x faster than the non the plain old java serialization so these are all the topics that we that we'll cover and before we move on to the part two of this course uh, this is spark sql in the next video we'll, we'll start with chapter one which is the big picture in which we will explain all the high level concepts and the idea behind apache spark so see you all in the next video